We strip back everything that you and I do as YouTubers to one single thing. Literally the only obligation that we have as content creators is to not be boring. For you, I've spent way too much of my time on YouTube over the past few years, and during that time, I've noticed a few things that will hopefully help you create more engaging videos. So with that out of the way, I wanna get into what you and I can do as content creators to not be so damn boring. Before I get into it though, I just wanted to quickly ask, did you enjoy that intro? Because if you did, it probably had something to do with the music and sound effects I used to create it, which were all from the sponsor of today's video, which is Epidemic Sound. Having the right music set the tone and pacing of your videos is the difference between a viewer being glued to their screen and having them be bored out of their minds. And if I can be candid with you for a second, I used to make my money as a commercial videographer. So I've used every single music licensing service available and by far Epidemic Sound is the best one out there. They have a massive library of over 35,000 songs and over 90,000 sound effects, which is honestly ridiculous. Like there's never been a situation where I'm looking for a specific sound effect and haven't been able to find it. The other thing that I really appreciate is that when you download a song, you have the option to download all the individual stems that make up that entire song, which for me personally, I've found really handy when I'm trying to fade out a particular song rather than having to use the fade out effect, I'm able to isolate a specific stem and then use that to fade out the music in a way that actually works with the rest of the track. And in today's video, there's a link in the top line of the description that you can go and sign up to a free trial of either their personal or commercial plan. And on top of that, you can use the code NOSKI50 at checkout to get 50% off their personal annual plan. That means you're getting unlimited access to all of their sound effects and all of their songs for an entire year for just $54, which is honestly unbelievable. <laughs> so sign up today, use my code NOSKI50 on their personal annual plan, hit the link to get a free trial of either the commercial or personal plan and start improving the sound design in your videos. And thank you again to Epidemic Sound for sponsoring today's video. Tip number one is to front load the work. One of the things that I've noticed on YouTube is that your engagement's gonna drop in those first 30 seconds. There's not really anything you can do. But one of the good parts about this is once you've gotten past that 60 second mark, usually the viewer that you've held on to till that point are gonna stick around for the majority, if not the entirety of the rest of the video. So philosophy that I've started to embrace is to front load the effort and time I'm putting into my videos. I'm actually finding these days that I'm putting 80% of my time and energy into the first 30 to 45 seconds of my videos and then the 20% of my energy left over goes into the rest of the video. It's a great example of the 80-20 rule at play. If you don't know what the 80-20 rule is, it basically means that 80% of your results are gonna come from 20% of your effort. That means that 80% of your time can go into 20% of your video and you're going to get 80% more results from 20% of the total effort and time that you would have to put in to the entirety of your video. Imagine if you were making a video and you only had 45 seconds to tell the story. You would jam as much content and energy and time into those 45 seconds as possible. Front load a little bit more of your energy and time into those 45 seconds and I promise it'll create more more results than if you spread that time over the entirety of your video. Tip number two is to create multiple points of engagement. There's a reason why YouTubers like Mr. Beast and Matt Diavella are always using titles and animations to complement the things that they're saying on screen. It's not because they don't think you can hear them, it's because they wanna make sure that you're actively viewing their videos. By combining the visuals that you have on screen with good audio and sound design, and then also adding titles and animations, suddenly your viewers are reading, listening, and watching your video all at once, which creates a far more engaging experience for your viewer. It's just an easy little trick that you can start to use in your videos to occasionally re-engage or emphasize the things that you're saying. Cut it down. I think you need to be aggressive in how much you cut out of your videos. Something I've started doing a lot these days is taking a dozen or two dozen passes of each of my videos and cutting out more and more footage each time. I actually make it a game with myself to see how much of my video I can cut out before it completely destroys the flow of what I'm trying to say. And it means that I might cut my video down initially from 45 minutes of raw footage to 15, 16, 17 minutes and then take a dozen 
passes and cut it back to six, seven, or eight minutes, meaning that I've cut the majority of my already edited video out of my video. Like I said at the start of the video, the only obligation you and I have as content creators is to not be boring. And a really easy way for us to do that is to just cut out the majority of the video in the edit and only leave the things that absolutely need to be there. And tip number five, one that I wanted to add because I feel like it's important is make videos that you actually care about. One of the easiest ways to be more engaging is to actually care about what you're saying. <laughs> it's such an easy way to fix the lack of energy in your videos is to just actually be passionate about what you're saying because that passion is going to be obvious in your presentation on camera, in the effort you put into the edit and the overall energy you bring to each video. So make videos about things you actually care about. I think this is an obvious one, but I've caught myself in situations where I'm making content that I think you guys want to see that I don't really want to make. And that just leaves me in a situation where I don't bring the energy to my video. I don't put the effort into the edit. And you guys obviously see that when you're watching my video. An easy way to fix this is to just care about the things that you're making. I just wanted to make this video because I hate watching my old videos because there's so many things that I wish that version of me knew when he was making those videos. So hopefully by making this video, you guys will be able to learn from my own mistakes and start to do the things that I only recently learned to do at the beginning of your journeys and hopefully make more progress a lot faster than I did. So if you enjoyed today's video, I would really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. It helps the channel out a lot and I would really, really appreciate it. And with all that said and done, I'll see you guys next time.